All right, here at the Tyson Fury Auto Valleen festivities with heavyweight contender Joseph Parker. First of all, Joseph, how's the most, I guess, probably the most uh, frequent question you get? How's camp going? <laughs> camp is going great. Uh, I came into camp at a good weight, feeling strong, feeling fit, feeling ready already, and it's not even uh, October 26 here. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the camp and then going into the fight you know, tuned and ready for a great show. All right, so Derek Chisora. Um, was Derek Tesoro the other day, uh, and I know it's, you get dragged into this. You know, you're not a guy that does a lot of what he does, but he makes a lot of uh, controversial remarks and does a lot of crazy things. What do you think uh, about his latest stuff? How, as far as as far as like how that brings you into it, does that bother you that you get drugged into kind of what he does? Um, I think Tesoro is one of those fighters that you, he's full of surprises, and he's one of those fighters that he's either calm or crazy. You know, he's either world beater when he comes into a fight or he looks like he's ready for retirement so he's just one of those fighters that's just you don't know what to expect and I guess uh, being dragged into what he did um, as long as no people know that I don't talk like that so they they're sort of separating us you know he does his thing I do my thing but um, he does have a, po a point you know we can be a main event if we had our own show but unfortunately for him this is a show where we have two guys fighting for unification. And we're not the promoters. We don't make the calls where we, you know, where we're put into the schedule. So I think as long as uh, there's a fight locked in, as long as we have a date and uh, we have each other to fight, let's get it on. Well, you said main event or more money. I know obviously money means something to you, but does the, does the place in the car really matter to you too much? Me, it doesn't really matter. I've been in main event for a long time, or for, for many times, and I've actually been on undercard many times as well, so I don't really care. Like I said, as long as I have the guy in front of me, I'm all good. So, so how do you keep from getting dragged into what he does? I mean, you know, you have your own mentality, the way you want to be to, to make sure you're at your best. How do you avoid him, you know, in, in down the road, you know, when you guys get closer and have to deal with him face to face with his antics? Uh, when we do the face off, I'll, I'll stand like five meters away. <laughs> um, I think as long as I focus on myself and approach uh, this fight how I've approached all my other 20, 28 fights, then I think I'll be okay. And as long as um, I should have a security guard next to me <laughs> to make sure he doesn't do any of his silly, uh, you know, silly actions that he, you know, slapping, spitting, and all this kind of stuff. We got like seven or eight heavyweights are all jockeying for the, the title or shots at the title. What does this fight mean between the two of you? Where does it put the winner of this fight in uh, in regards to getting you know either Joshua Ruiz winner or, or Wilder? This this fight actually elevates me a lot closer to the goal of being two-time world champion or unified champion. So this is for me is a must-win. I believe I have better skills than Chisora. I believe I can you know I can box and move while I can stand there and fight. I think his one style is that he's going to move in, he's going to walk you down and throw his big bombs, and we see they still possesses his good power from his last fight that he had with Spilka. So I think a win for either of us will elevate us really close to being uh, fighting for the title. Uh, are you rooting for him to win against uh, against Anthony Joshua? So when you come through this fight successfully, uh, you can kind of stake your claim to getting a shot at him. Yeah, I um, listen. I don't mind who I fight, as long as I can take out Derek Chisora. I don't mind who I fight. Joshua, you give me Ruiz, anyone. I don't care who it is. I mean, I lost to Joshua, and I'd like to avenge that loss. Lost to Dylan White, I'd like to avenge that loss. I, I beat Ruiz in a close fight, and I could have went either way, but I got the win. So I think he wants to sort of avenge the loss that he has to me. Anthony Joshua, uh, losing to Ruiz like that, do you think that, that me messed with him mentally as far as you know him going forward and, and putting his best performances forward? I think that really, I, I think it got to him. You know, he sort of released an interview saying it really did hit him hard losing. That was the first time losing, and he lost all the belts. And to someone like Ruiz, who no one thought would win the fight. You know, when you look at the physiques of two guys, you think, okay, this guy's going to steamroll this guy. But then again, um, I think he's as a champion, and he's got a great team around him. I think he has the right tools to be able to come back and not only put on a good performance, but he can win. So it's, that's why it's so intriguing. It's a close fight. Uh, what do you think about Tyson Fury? You know, he had that close fight with uh, Deontay Wilder, got the draw this week. Well, first of all, what do you think about the the opponent here? You know, a lot of people criticize him for for uh, taking on Valine here, and then also Schwartz in his last fight. What do you think about the way Top Rank is bringing him along? I think they're sort of. I think Top Rank is building him up. Like, I mean, he had that fight with uh, Wilder, and I thought it was a bit too early, coming from what he came from. You know, 400 pounds, rock bottom. Um, I think they're just getting him used to being in the ring again and working on his craft and you know and getting him a lot more confident and I think the the fight that everyone's looking forward to is the one in February with him and, and Wilder. How do you see that one going? Oh close close fight. Wilder's a dangerous fighter you can punch anyone 
from one to twelve and knock them out. And then he can box the ears off, you know, Fury can, Fury can box the ears off any fighter. So that's a close one to call. So out of the, let's say, the big four, Ruiz, Joshua, Wilder, Fury, who do you match up best against? No, not, not taking into account titles or, or promotions or anything like that. Who, who do you match up best with? Of course, you've been in the ring with two of them. Uh, I think Ruiz. I think uh, with Ruiz, I have a bit of height. Uh, I have a height advantage and a reach advantage. So I think uh, matching up-wise, that'll be a good matchup again. The one thing everybody says about Ruiz, though, is he has incredible hand speed. You got to deal with that. What do you think about his speed compared to Joshua and the other top guys you fought? He's, I think he's got uh, one of the fastest hands in the division. All right, so, so having been there with both of them, obviously beating Ruiz in a close decision, losing to, to Anthony Joshua, were you surprised? Because basically nobody gave Ruiz a chance going into that fight with Joshua. Were you surprised that he was able to come out victorious? I think our team was the only team that said, hey, hey guys, you know, this guy's a dangerous fighter. And he has the ability to cause an upset. And... You know, we didn't know he was going to win like that, but it wasn't really a surprise that, you know, because he's, uh, we know that he's got fast hands, we know that he hits hard. I got clipped once in our fight in the ear, and I was hearing bells for many rounds, so I knew that he hit hard. And then finally, again, you, you come through this fight with Chisora, you know, smoothly, no issues there. How do you get in line to fight one of these guys? What kind of, pop, I mean, there's so many people out there trying to get this shot. How do you get your name out there and say, hey, I deserve the next shot? I need to win uh, in a devastating fashion. I need to put on a great show. I need to look tremendous out there. And then I can talk to the promoters and say, hey, you know, give me a shot. And I think it's just about looking good. You know, as long as camp goes well and you perform good in the ring, I think everything else falls into place after that. All right, man. Best of luck in October.